Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all well. In today's video, we're gonna be doing a full face of Look Fantastic makeup. So recently I became a part of Team Fantastic, which is absolutely amazing. I love the products on Look Fantastic's website. This video isn't sponsored or anything like that, but having become a new member of Team Fantastic, I thought, why not show you some amazing products from the brand and show you some bits that I love. I've got some new products today, some things that you might not have seen before. So I just thought, why not create a super autumnal winter makeup? Um, while showing you some of my favourite products from their site. I do have a discount code for you guys for Look Fantastic. I'll pop it on screen right now. That will get you 20% off products, which is absolutely amazing. We love a bargain. Obviously, I don't want to talk too much about um, the announcement on Saturday, but um, I hope you're all good. I hope you're all well. Use this next four-week lockdown to rest, recover, achieve your goals, don't achieve your goals. Do whatever makes you feel good. I'm going to try and put out as much content as I can to kind of take your minds off it. I know that in the last lockdown, you guys said that my content kind of took your mind off everything that was going on. So I am going to try my best to get as much content out for you as possible on YouTube and on Instagram as well. Stay safe, guys. We've done it before. We can do it again. We've got this. We've all got each other. And... I'm sending you so much love. So before we begin, don't forget to subscribe, hit that thumbs up button if you like this video and leave me a lovely little comment in the comment section below. And if you wanna see how I got this full face of Look Fantastic, then keep on watching. Okay guys, so obviously I've got no makeup on right now. I actually went in with the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. This is the big one. This is the 100 gram or 100 mil one. 100 mil and you can get this on look fantastic i think it's sold out at the minute um but by using my code you can actually get this size for four pound more than the one that's half the size of this i think i've just spoken about it before on my channel um but yeah i popped this on as my kind of like morning moisturizer so i did my skincare about an hour or two ago so when i've applied all my serums and everything i just go in with this as my morning moisturizer from now on it's amazing it smells like oranges it's just the most beautiful face base and even for someone like me who's really really oily this is just a beautiful beautiful product foundations absolutely glide on this so i'm really really loving using this at the moment so for foundation i'm gonna go in with the new nars soft matte complete foundation i'm gonna wear the shade barcelona medium for today usually i would wear valencia in nars foundations because it's winter i'm gonna go a little bit lighter with barcelona so i'm just taking a little bit on my brush and I'm just going to distribute that kind of in the centre of my face. With super matte foundations, I like to really hydrate my skin with something like the Bobbi Brown face base. And then I like to go in with a really thin amount of foundation. And to be honest, I'm enjoying wearing less foundation at the moment. And sort of wearing like a thin layer. Having my skin show through a little bit. And then applying like a full coverage concealer over the top. So... I'm just going to apply a thin layer of this. I did wear this yesterday um, for the first time because I got it in PR on Saturday and oh my goodness, I'm absolutely obsessed with it. I knew that I would love this because I love the concealer when I put it on yesterday. like I just love the finish of this. It just kind of gives that like blurred effect to the skin. For concealer, I'm going to go in with the matching NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. I wear the shade Ginger. I might add a little bit of vanilla over the top. Um, just to brighten it a little bit underneath my eyes, but I'm just taking a Peaches Makeup PC17 and I'm just going underneath my eyes with this. I like to apply this with a fluffy brush. I feel like it gives such a nice finish and it means that you don't overload the product as well and it just blends in really nice. By the way, guys, if you can hear the builders, I'm really sorry. <laughs> I like going in with a concealer that sort of like matches my foundation at first. I feel like this is what provides the coverage and then I can go in with sort of like a lighter concealer to brighten. Just take that really in the center of my face. So underneath the eyes, center of the forehead, nose, top lip and chin. That's just probably where I like to add extra coverage. Then for a little bit of brightening, I'm gonna go in with the same concealer, but in the shade vanilla. So this is sort of like a lighter version of ginger. So I'm just gonna dip my brush right in there and I'm just gonna put this underneath my eyes just to brighten underneath there a little bit and just to add a little bit more shape to my face so again i'm just using super light buffing motions this is just kind of the techniques that i've been doing i've not really been doing my old techniques i've kind of been switching it up a little bit so 
I've been enjoying doing like different techniques and stuff like that with my um, makeup recently. I've been loving playing with like new products, new makeup. I just feel really inspired at the minute and I absolutely love it. To set all that concealer in place, I'm going to go in with the Laura Mercier Translucent Honey. This is their newest version of the Translucent Powder family. I absolutely love this. It's made me fall back in love with Laura Mercier powder. I was very lucky that I got to attend the Zoom event for this, um, which was absolutely amazing. We made cocktails with Jamie Genevieve, who I'm obsessed with, if you don't already know. Um, so yeah, that was really, really fun. It was a nice thing to do. Like, I think it was like August time, maybe September. It was really, really cool. So I'm just going in and setting all those areas where I put concealer. I'm not gonna set the outsides of my face because I am gonna add bronzer there and I don't wanna add any excess powders or anything like that. So I'm just setting underneath my eye in the center of the face. So I'm gonna add some more dimension back into my face and I'm gonna use the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Dark Tan. Usually I wear dark, sometimes I wear dark tan, just depends how I feel. So I'm gonna use a Morphe M405 brush. I've been using this for my bronzer recently and I absolutely love it. And I'm just gonna start building that up on my cheeks and start adding some more bronze and dimension back into the skin. I didn't even know that Look Fantastic sold MAC, which is great, obviously, because then you guys can get 20% off with my code, um, which MAC don't usually do. They're not really like a big discount company, so. That is literally amazing. I do feel like MAC Mineralize Skin Finish is such a staple. Like it is one of those classic products that I feel like everyone loves in the industry. I've never heard anyone say that they don't like MAC Mineralize Skin Finish. It's just blends into the skin so nice. Then I'm gonna do a little bit of nose contour. I'm gonna use the Anastasia Beverly Hills A16 brush. This is perfect for nose contour. And I'm gonna use that same MAC bronzer. And I'm gonna start focusing it under the brow here. And that's gonna start off the nose contour by adding a little bit of shadow there. It's just gonna make it look a little bit more natural. Wow, the builders are so loud. I'm gonna go in with two different blushes just because I'm feeling a little bit extra today. I'm gonna go in with the NARS blush in the shade Orgasm. This is a classic product and I do actually really, really like this and I haven't used it in such a long time. But I feel like now that I'm, tr I'm trying to like shop my collection a little bit more, I'm trying to use new products every time I do my makeup. Get, kind of like get out of the habit of using the same things every day. Um, and I'm loving it. It's actually making me so much happier like using different products and getting those different finishes. I'm really, really enjoying the way my makeup is looking like day to day now, just because I switch up my products so much now, which is the good thing about having this makeup room now, um, which by the way, guys, my um, makeup storage comes on the 9th, so a week today, which is so exciting. And um, I'm definitely gonna film a makeup room transformation video. And then I will film a collection video for you afterwards as well, because I know you all are dying to see that. The second blush I'm going to go in with is the Benefit Georgia blush. This is so beautiful. I actually really, really love this blush and I wore it so much in summer. But what this does, I like this is sort of like a blush topper because it adds this gorgeous glow to the skin. It just kind of makes you like lit from within. It's got this beautiful like golden sort of finish so i love to kind of like add that on and just make it look a little bit more glowy and a little bit more fresh and then for even more glow i'm going to go in with the illa Masca beyond powder highlighter this is in the shade omg which is obviously the most beautiful highlighter in the whole entire world i'm sure i've spoken about this more but i honestly love this highlight so much it does really just melt into the skin and it does look like it's coming from underneath i can't explain it if you've used this you know but it's truly truly beautiful one of the best highlighters out there i think and i really need some more shades i think they do like a peachy shade which i'm after and they also do kind of like a um a bronzier shade called epic which i really need as well because i love this so much okay so i'm gonna move on to eyes so i'm just gonna prep my eyelids real quick and then i'll be right back so for eyes today i do want to keep it pretty simple because i do want the focus of the look to be the lip so i'm gonna go in with the anastasia beverly hills norvina palette again i did not know this brand was on look fantastic which is absolutely amazing i'm gonna go in with the shade eccentric if you've been here for a long time you know that that is one of my favorite shades in the whole entire world so I'm just going to use this little Morphe and Madison beer brush first and I'm going to start packing that all over the lid. So I'm going to sort of go for like a matte 
um, eye today. I don't want to go with anything too glowy. And then I'm just going to take a clean brush and just start to buff out the edges and I'm going to start blending this up into my brown. I don't want to do anything like shimmer and glittery. I want the lip to kind of be the statement of the look. But, but I'm definitely going to be doing some super glittery Christmassy vibe kind of looks. I feel like Christmas should come early this year, guys. If you can't put your Christmas tree up early this year, when can you? You know, we've all been through so much this year. I feel like we do need to put our Christmas trees up early. I think we're putting ours up in like two weeks, won't we? And then I'm just gonna take that same eccentric shade on my lower lash line. So just really buffing that out and making it super blended, super bronzy, just a simple eye look to go with this super dark lip that we're gonna do. Then I'm gonna take my Cosmic Brushes sponge. This is the best face sponge in the world. And my Laura Mercier translucent powder again. What I'm gonna do is just kind of add a little bit along where my eyeshadow is just to kind of clean that up a little bit. And then I'm gonna do the same underneath my bronzer as well. And then I'm just gonna dust that away. Only needs to settle for like 30 seconds or so just to make sure it's all nice and cleaned up. I'm gonna add some mascara and some lashes and then I'll be right back. So whilst the lash glue is drying, I'm gonna do my brows. Now I keep doing my brows last at the minute. I don't know why. I think it makes them look a little bit more natural to be honest. I feel like sometimes when I do brows first, they can look a little bit thick. Um, so I've started doing my brows last and I'm actually loving how it looks. So I'm going in with the Pink Honey um, Soup Hold Honey Glue. This isn't on Look Fantastic, but I do use it every day. So we're going to go in with a little bit of this and just push the brow hairs up. So I'm just using a clean spoolie and I'm just combing through the brows. This is just going to kind of shape them and set them in place. Now that the product is distributed through the brows, I'm going to take a smaller spoolie and I'm just going to further comb that in and just kind of shape the brow a little bit more. So the first product that I'm going to go in with is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pen in Soft Brown. I love this. I used it when we did the Patrick Tarr Masterclass last week and I was like, okay, love this. So I'm just going to add some hair-like strokes in the brow. Now I always feel like with these brow pens it's always better to go a shade lighter because I feel like they don't add the hairs as dark and they look a little bit more natural as well. So I always go for soft brown over like dark brown, medium brown, whatever. And then I'm gonna go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Powder in soft brown. I've recently started doing my brows how I did my client's brows and I'm loving it. I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills 7B brush for this and I'm just gonna fill in my brows a little bit. So I'm just gonna sort of try and make them a little bit more even but I don't wanna like fill them in too much. So that's how I've been doing my brows lately. So what I'm gonna do is pop these lashes on and then I'll be right back. Okay, so lashes are on. I'm obviously wearing my collaboration with Yasme Cosmetics. Not available and look fantastic, but they are the best lashes in the world. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of a point on my inner corner. So I'm using this brush from Morphe and then the Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina palette. I'm gonna use this shade Volatile. It's just kind of like a cool tone brown. And I'm just gonna do like a little inner corner um, liner if you will. I just love doing this at the minute. I feel like it really finishes off a look. So I'm going to use the NYX Suede Lip Liner. This is in the shade Prune and I'm going to line my lips with this. We're going to do a dark lip today guys. I'm excited. And then I'm going to go in with the Tom Ford Lipstick in the shade Black Dahlia. This is my favourite winter lipstick. I absolutely love it so much and Tom Ford have just launched on Look Fantastic as well which is absolutely amazing. So I'm going to pop this straight on. I'm going to go back in with more bronzer because I always feel like when I do a dark lip I have to bronze up my face so much more than usual just so I don't look as pale. <laughs> and to finish off the whole face I'm going to go in with a spritz of the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dewy Set Setting Spray. I'm just going to spray this all over. And that is the finished look using all Look Fantastic products. I hope you guys enjoyed this full face. It's been a while since I did a full face. So I hope you really enjoyed it. Obviously, everything that I've used in this video will be listed in the description box below for you. Don't forget to use my discount code if you are shopping on Look Fantastic and save yourself some money. Before you leave, don't forget to subscribe, hit that thumbs up button if you like this video and leave me a lovely little comment in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!